Well, the UFC president, Dana White, you know him. He's a tough guy, uh, probably the fastest growing sport in the United States, and he's definitely influential when it comes to politics, when it comes to all things sports, too. He sat down with Tucker Carlson. Tucker flew out to Vegas, and they sat down together. And Tucker's also coming out with a documentary this winter about Dana White, his life, and, and more about politics. But he sat down, and he's going to air a portion of that tonight on the show. Here's a clip of what you'll see. Donald Trump saw that this thing could possibly be big. Plus, he's a sports guy. He loves sports. And he offered us to come do the event at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. Cut us a very fair deal. We went down there, and we did two events with him. He showed up for the first fight, stayed till the last fight. And you can imagine back then, Trump brand here, UFC brand down here. Yeah. But he took us in, and, and, and he was great. Everything that ever happened to me in my career after that day, the first guy to reach out and say congratulations was Donald Trump. You know, always sending something and, and saying congratulations, like a guy who was genuinely happy for your success. And uh, Tucker's going to be airing some more of that interview tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time. With and I, Dana I mean, that White. does help. When the president has your back, you're going to be supportive of him, and he says President Trump did. One thing that I will infinitely be grateful for as an American is that he said, I'm going back to live events. He went to Jacksonville yeah, because Jacksonville opened it, because mm -hmm. Florida said yes to him. And that was the first major sporting event that we had with an mm -hmm. audience. And things went back, and then sport, uh, the rest of sports followed in his wake. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.